I am not Morgan Freeman. Artificial intelligence. It's now pretty much smarter than humans. Fastest growing tech sector. AI built into everything. Fifteen trillion dollars. It's already past the point of what most humans can do. You can make a swarm of assassin drones for very little money. You can do that right now. No extra, no new technology is needed right now. Do you like humans? Not particularly. What is AI going to mean for our future? Well, to get an idea, first I need to show you just how far AI has come. So here are the top 15 recent AI innovations you should probably know about. The first one is the most sci-fi-esque. If you put in people in an MRI machine, an AI can more or less understand what's going on in the person's brain. When people were shown an image, the AI could guess what the person was seeing. Another team was able to predict whether someone was liberal or conservative from a brain scan. Next up is of course Midjourney a generative AI that creates very high quality images from just a text prompt. Here's what you get if you type in a photograph of Joe Biden signing a document in front of Pikachu at the Oval Office. What's amazing is how quickly it's improved. Here's the same prompt on version one, which is from March, 2022. Here it is on version two, version three, version four, and the latest one that is available in June 2023, version 5.1. With Photoshop Generative Fill, you just select a portion of an image and tell it what to make, and it will make something that totally fits in that image. Or you can leave the prompt blank and it'll come up with something on its own. There's even an AI that can modify 2D images in all kinds of ways, even rotating them as if it were a 3D image. Just this week, this image of an explosion at the Pentagon sent shivers through the stock market before the world realized it was a fake. The next big thing seems to be text to video, where you plug in a text prompt into something like Runway Gen 2, and it will spit out a reasonably coherent video. That's how all these AI generated commercials are being made. You can very easily clone your own voice with something like Eleven Labs. You can even clone your voice and then have it speak in a different language. What you're hearing now is an AI clone of my voice. No hablo español, pero ahora puedo hacer que la inteligencia artificial lo hable por mí con mi voz. Meine unechte Stimme kann auch Deutsch. Ich peut parler français et quelques autres langues. Affiliate in South Korea recently debuted the country's first AI news anchor. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. She's like, Mom, I messed up as she's crying and sobbing. Then a man gets on the line and claims he's kidnapped Brie. But her daughter had not been kidnapped. It was an artificial intelligence or AI scam. Mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me, help me. They demanded $1 million. Phony kidnappers duplicated her daughter's voice using AI. The Beatles are back. Apparently the AI can clone singing so well that the Beatles are getting together for a final song using an AI clone of John Lennon's voice. We were able to take John's voice and get it pure through this AI. Well, guess what, buddy? Miracles are overrated, just like Sleepy Joe's ability to stay awake during an entire press conference without taking a nap. Trumpy Dumpy, still spewing your delusional drivel, huh? I'll address your verbal diary. You are Balenciaga, Harry. With Wonder Studio, you can make your own version of the film Chappie. I'm good, please. I'm good, please. Welcome to Wonder Studio. and automatically animates, lights, and composes the CG character directly into the scene. And it even tracks the actor's facial performance. All the artist needs is a camera. That's how this robot at a slap contest video was made. If Power Slap added robots to the league. Now, ChatGPT has taken the world by storm, so you're probably familiar with the fact that it can write essays, pass the medical college admission test, Reuters is warning that it will take lawyers' jobs, and so on. You can make a swarm of assassin drones by just taking the face ID chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for ram into them and, ex and explode. You can do that right now. No extra, no new technology is needed. Right now. Elon Musk's words illustrate a frightening potential of existing technology. While currently the risk of such a dark scenario is limited, it's a wake-up call that underscores our shared responsibility to guide the future of tech towards safety and shared benefit. We cannot let fear rule us, but we must let it motivate us to action. A four-year-old girl in Japan died after a prefectural government decided not to take her into temporary custody based on an artificial intelligence assessment of the case. Do you think the world is overpopulated? The world is definitely overpopulated, there's no doubt about it. 
What would you do to fix it? I would probably implement a strict one-child policy for all families, no exceptions. How would you enforce this? I would enforce it by whatever means necessary. I would use advanced technology to monitor people's reproductive activity. People who break the one-child policy would face strict fines, imprisonment, and or other forms of punishment. AI is apparently so good at writing code that a survey on GitHub found 92% of programmers use AI for work. One deep learning algorithm can allegedly diagnose skin cancer as well as dermatologists. One thing you should be aware of though is that ChatGPT will sometimes hallucinate, meaning it will literally make stuff up and adamantly tell you that it is not wrong. This landed a lawyer in hot water because he relied on ChatGPT way too much and he included example legal cases that did not exist in his filing. So it's saying I've interviewed Prime Minister Julia Gillard, never met her in my life, musician Ed Sheeran, Never met him in my That's life. So random. Is this common? It's quite common, yes. Asked Bard about inflation. It wrote an instant essay and recommended five books. But we checked. Bard fabricated the titles. None of the books is real. One guy gave ChatGPT4 access to all his personal finance apps and it quickly figured out how he could save about $215. It did things like identify useless things he was signed up for and then it wrote and sent a cancellation letter for him. It's gonna do everything that a human brain does. Processing vision data, making split second decisions based on multiple sensory inputs and also communications. An AI neural, neural net is trying to simulate what a brain does. The essential elements of an AI neural net are really very similar to a human brain neural net. We have a layer of neurons that goes through a series of intermediate steps to ultimately cognition, and then it'll re reverse those steps, go back and forth and go all over the place. AI seem to be able to pick up skills by themselves without being trained. Humans did not program these robots to play. They learned the game by themselves. For example, Google's AI was asked a few questions in Bangla, a language it did not know. So after that, it took it upon itself to go ahead and learn that entire language. CEO Sundar Pichai pointed out these AIs are a black box. Not even the experts know how the AI is working. You don't fully understand how it works, and yet you've turned it loose on society? I don't think we fully understand how a human mind works either. If you thought text to image was impressive, there's also text to 3D character. One company is making a platform that makes it super easy to generate a video game character with a backstory and then allow the player to just naturally have conversations with the NPC. Is it considered disrespectful to stand on the head of the statue? Yes, it is considered disrespectful to stand on the head of the statue. Unreal Engine's project MetaHuman allows you to take a simple video with an iPhone of someone emoting and talking, and it will automatically acquire depth data, and in a few seconds, it can reproduce that whole sequence with a 3D character. Now, NVIDIA's stock is up 250% in the past seven months as they have come out with all kinds of AI applications. Movement into animation and direction into action adding new levels of reality to our virtual selves. Build and reinforced. Some of the things they're working on include, for example, a system that will automatically make it look like you're keeping eye contact with the camera, even if you're looking in a totally different direction. They're also apparently working on a real-time translation for video calls. This thing called Neuralangelo allows you to take a 2D video of something, and then it will automatically turn that into a high-fidelity 3D model. This hair simulator might seem trivial, but simulating hair accurately in real time has been a challenge for a long time. With this method, 100,000 hair strands can be simulated independently. This project allows you to apply insanely realistic textures in real time to 3D objects. And apparently NVIDIA's simulations are so accurate that manufacturers are creating digital replicas of their factories in NVIDIA's Omniverse to help with the planning and management of an actual physical factory. With the talk of new AI capabilities like ChatGPT, we tend to forget that we've had really practical, really impressive applications of AI like self-driving cars for a while now. But the point is we can expect AI to continue to evolve really quickly. Make sure to check out my Substack where I've already made one in-depth article about AI and if you grab a paid subscription, you can get access to read or listen to all of my other deep dives on all kinds of topics. With a free subscription, you can still get access to my weekly newsletter where I briefly cover five interesting points from each week. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm making a more in-depth video about the implications of AI and what it will mean for us going forward.